Tampa Bay's beautiful shores tainted by wastewater. New tonight, the mayor and the former mayor of St. Petersburg are at odds over what contributed to this messy problem. Now, the mayor of St. Pete blames global warming, but the former mayor thinks something else is to blame for the mess. The Aiden Your Size Jeff Patterson joining us now live in St. Petersburg with the latest on this. And, Jeff, it really sounds like we've got a bigger problem here than first thought. Yeah, good evening, Keith. So far, 128 million gallons at least of partially treated wastewater has been dumped into Tampa Bay. Uh, Mayor Rick Kreisman has released a video on YouTube that says Bay Area waters and beaches are safe, but State Representative Kathleen Peters isn't convinced, and tonight she is raising some very real health concerns. As Hurricane Hermine pounded Pinellas County, 15 inches of rain fell on St. Petersburg in a four-day period, and the city of St. Petersburg dumped partially treated wastewater into Tampa Bay. Climate change has arrived. In a new YouTube video, Mayor Rick Kreisman explains the city faced a difficult choice. Dump the wastewater into the bay or let it back up into homes and streets. More than a decade ago, city leaders began making plans to take one of our wastewater facilities offline. Kreisman explains how aging pipes contributed to the problem because they leak and stormwater floods into the wastewater pipes. Admittedly, the infrastructure is aging, but it's it, it, when I left, it was it was pretty watertight. Former it, Mayor Bill Foster believes the, the issue isn't leaking pipes. Here. This mayor doesn't have a pipe problem. He's got a capacity problem. That's the primary issue. I think Albert Witted was decommissioned prematurely. St. Petersburg City Council voted to take the Albert Witted wastewater treatment plant offline in 2011. It operated until 2015. Mayor Kreisman's office contends they followed the plan to take the plant offline. State Representative Kathleen Peters is now calling for a meeting of local leaders to find out why the wastewater was released and what can be done about it. It's the local government's responsibility to manage this infrastructure and ensure that they have an infrastructure that's appropriate for their population. Um, but at what, at the state level, have we missed something? Yeah, Mayor Kreisman's office told me late this afternoon they have a consultant report that shows that leaks into the wastewater system are a major contributing factor into them dumping sewer water into the bay. Uh, Mayor uh, Kathleen Peters is calling for an investigation into that. She wants to know why and how it can be fixed. But the obvious question now, Jeff, is the water safe? Well, Mayor Kreisman contends that it is, uh, but they only have uh, monitoring systems at a certain number of beaches. They don't monitor all of the water. They don't monitor all of the beaches. However, right now, no Bay Area beaches are closed because of bacteria concerns. Jeff Patterson live in St. Petersburg tonight. Thank you, Jeff.